The simplest way that a Woodpecker template can be used or populated is basically to open the file in Word, like so, launch Woodpecker on the right, and then just start filling in the fields that correspond to this template. So in this case, I might want to generate a certificate incorporation for Acme Inc. Maybe the registered agent name is Registered Agent Inc. We can see that a couple of these fields here, like total uh, shares of common stock and common stock price per share have default values already. So I can leave those as they are. Uh, and I can also specify an incorporator name here. So let's just say incorporator name. Uh, and then finally, I'll add in an address and some state information. We'll do another address here. Let's stick with Boston for now. And finally, our zip. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and click the populate button down at the bottom here. And you're going to see the document adjust as all of the values that we've specified are inserted across the document in all the right places. Now, this is a super simple template. Uh, all we have are basic single line text fields. You can tell these little ABC icons here denote that those are single line text fields. They're the simplest type of woodpecker field that exists. Um, you can also see that there's a date field up here at the top. So there's, there's not a whole lot of fanciness going on here, right? We could optionally layer on conditional logic or formula calculations or clauses or date manipulations. But for this very basic use case here, we're, we're not gonna do those just yet. We'll cover a couple of those things uh, when we build the template again. Um, but for now, this is just to show you the simplest way that a individual template can be populated. That's just filling out the form, clicking populate. And at this point, I would go up and do a file save as. <clears throat> and I would actually save this certificate of incorporation as you know, certificate of incorporation for Acme Inc. and I would email it off to them. <clears throat> Pretty simple. Now, let's say, <clears throat> let's say that you also want to generate multiple documents for Acme Inc. during this, during this incorporation process. Maybe there's a engagement agreement or, refer, or a, uh, uh, um, a fee agreement. Maybe there's an NDA. Maybe there's some other stuff that needs to go along with this. We could, <clears throat> of course, optionally open each one of these templates, fill out the same information for Acme Inc. each time, click populate, save it as a new doc, but that takes a long time and we're gonna enter the same information over and over again. So what we can do instead is in that case, we would fill out our form here, but instead of clicking populate, we're actually gonna click this down arrow here, which allows us to populate multiple templates at the same time. So if I were to populate multiple, uh, either as docx or as PDFs, let's select the docx option for now. This is basically going to populate the currently open document and then it's going to pull down a list of all of the other templates that I have created uh, that I've also saved to what we call the Woodpecker document collection. So the Woodpecker document collection is basically like a DMS Lite. Um, it's sort of a very basic document management system where, where you can have folders, there's some permissioning, um, all of the documents are automatically shared with your team. The idea here is that uh, I can now see that I've got sort of two folders here. One is Helen's folder, which has a bunch of templates that she's created that are being shared with me. Um, and another is just this uncategorized folder, which of course is all the documents that, that I uh, have uploaded to the collection, but I haven't categorized. Now, what I wanna do is let's say, look for uh, an engagement agreement that I've uh, created. And let's see, we have uh, this one here. So we have an engagement agreement final. So I'm basically saying that I would like to populate the engagement agreement alongside the certificate of incorporation for Acme Inc. so that I can actually generate both at the same time. Now, of course, the more documents that you select that you'd like to populate at the same time, the more time you're gonna save, the more accuracy you're gonna get. So this really scales linearly with the number of documents that you, or number of templates that you actually populate at the same time. So if I select the engagement agreement and populate, what Woodpecker is going to do is look for look at these two different templates and it's going to analyze all the fields and it's going to try to match up any of the fields that are the same. Any fields that are not the same, meaning that these fields are in the engagement agreement, but they're not in this template, meaning that I just need to make sure that I specify values for them. And uh, th th these are being presented to me here um, in this sort of uh, middle pop up where basically Woodpecker is just making sure I haven't left anything out. So you'll never miss you know, a, a given field in one of the documents you're populating because Woodpecker will make sure that you don't. Um, these fields, or, uh, these values here are, are default values for the fields that I've specified in the other template. Of course, I could always you know, change uh, these to be whatever I wanted them to be. Um, maybe change my salutation uh, and maybe change the client's first name. Uh, but I could, but these, are, these are set for me. So 
after I click populate here, what Woodpecker is going to do is take all of the data that I've given it. It's going to evaluate any conditional logic, formula calculations, clauses, date manipulations. It's going to populate both of these templates or however many I selected should be populated. And it's going to present them to me as a folder that I can either download or as a link that I can actually share. So if I copy that link here, I'm just going to pop over to our browser here once more and paste it in, uh, in the browser. Uh, if I download that to my desktop here, I'll just quickly uh, take a look at what that looks like. I'm just going to unzip that folder. And if I pop in, I can see those two documents that I just generated. So you have first that certificate of incorporation, which we're currently looking at with Acme Inc. and all the, all the information that we've already seen get populated. And then we had the engagement agreement with John Doe, an address, a date here, uh, a bunch of other stuff that's been populated for us. And, um, and we didn't actually have to even open the document to populate that, uh, that template with, um, with the information. So once again, this is the second way that a woodpecker template or woodpecker templates can be populated. Uh, the first is just individually, right? You open your document, fill out your form, click the populate button. Second is what we just did where you'll fill out your form and you'll select the populate multiple option, which in that case, you'll get the ability to download this as a folder or share a link to that folder. Uh, the third way that woodpecker templates can be populated, which is the newest and uh, latest and greatest way is actually if you wanted to expose the ability uh, to populate or generate these templates to someone who doesn't have access to Woodpecker or, who, or Word or maybe a client or opposing counsel or a colleague or even internally, uh, that you wanted to expose uh, the ability to populate these templates without requiring that person to use it within, to do that within Woodpecker. What we can do is if we go to the menu, there's a little questionnaires item here. And if we click on questionnaires, it's actually gonna take us into our browser and uh, going to actually fetch a list of questionnaires that I've previously created. So these questionnaires are really handy for creating external facing, you know, could be client, could be a opposing counsel, could be other colleagues, um, creating questionnaires that ultimately sit on top of your woodpecker templates and generate those woodpecker templates whenever this questionnaire is submitted. So for example, if we look at this client intake questionnaire I've created, I'm gonna go ahead and click edit on it and you can see that I firstly given this questionnaire a name just called client intake. And you can also see that there's actually three templates that underlie or underpin this questionnaire such that when this questionnaire is submitted by a recipient uh, that I designate, these three templates will be populated behind the scenes and then the final documents are gonna get emailed to me. Um, so we can also see that here's a list of all of the questions uh, that show up across these three templates. I could of course uh, change the name of some of these. So I might say, you know, your company name. This is now the name of the field that's exposed to the, uh, to the client or to the recipient of the questionnaire. And then this name here is what the field is actually called in the templates behind the scenes. We could of course exclude some of these as well if we didn't want, um, you know, if we didn't want the client to see some of these, uh, some of these uh, uh, fields here. And then finally, we would actually send this questionnaire off to uh, any one of the recipients that we wanted to, right? So we could actually enter in someone's email address. They'll get a secure link emailed to them to actually fill out this questionnaire. And then those final documents are gonna get generated and emailed to me, uh, as well as their answers. Uh, and that recipient will receive those answers as well. Finally, you could also share a link to this questionnaire. And this is really handy for embedding this questionnaire on your website or even sending it to someone in an email. Um, and uh, or even reusing this questionnaire internally, right? You now have access to this, uh, this link here that uh, is basically an evergreen link that anyone can use to fill out your questionnaire and automatically generate the documents or the templates um, underneath it. Uh, okay, so that's the third way of uh, populating Woodpecker templates. Um, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, to put those in the, uh, in the chat and I'm happy to answer or we can wait till, uh, till the end to cover those. Um, the fourth way uh, that Woodpecker templates can be populated, remember there's, there's four, um, is actually via our API, our open API or our integration with Zapier. So if we go over to the settings page here, you're gonna see a little API key section and that will allow us to actually generate an API key for ourselves, which we can use uh, either with the Woodpecker API itself or with Woodpecker Zapier app. And the two most common use cases for Woodpecker's Zapier app integration are um, either client intake forms, say embedding a Google form or SurveyMonkey form on your website, and then automatically generating a set of documents behind uh, that form. 
uh, although the questionnaires take care of a lot of that uh, functionality, um, or plugging into your practice management platform or your CRM or your client database to actually generate a set of documents using client data directly from that practice management platform. So those are just a couple of, uh, of uh, common use cases for, for using both of these.